Hey everybody, welcome back to another Judgment Commentary of Koi Monogatari, but today we're going to be checking out episode 5. And last time, on episode 4, Kaiki had a brief friendly chat with Senji Gohara about the relayed message from Ononoki telling him to stay out of the current affairs involving Nautico. And he gave her his assurance that he does not intend to back out and he's going to stick to it till the end. Also, somebody decided to slip a little message under Kaiki's door, once again telling him to stay out of it, but whom actually sent him this message is unknown. Kaiki suspects it might be an unidentified third party, but it could, of course, still be from Gaian, but it's probably not, given that she already told him once and he decided not to do it. I don't think she's the send the letter afterwards type of person. But as of right now, I don't have a really strong indication on who it might have been. Besides that though, after Kaiki's routine visit with Nautico, he happened to run into Hanekawa, who is back from being overseas. At least, that's what she says. She said that she has been overseas this entire time, trying to do a couple things, mostly get out of Gaian's range because she thinks that, well, maybe if she gets far enough away she won't be able to read her, but nah. But now that she is back in town, she decided she wanted to swap some information with Kaiki, and Kaiki was a bit apprehensive towards the idea at first, but she's managed to convince him. And the interesting thing about Hanakawa being back from being overseas is that she's she admitted to being, you know, kind of deceitful towards Senji Gohara because Senji Gohara thought that she was still over there, but no, she's back in town and she didn't tell her. Heck, for all we know, maybe she never left at all and she's just making it all up. It's a possibility. I don't know, the whole Hanekawa overseas thing is a little bit suspicious to me, but that's beside the point. Instead, what matters now is that Hanekawa and Kaiki have a bit of free exchange of information to partake in. So, without further ado... The plan may have failed. It may have gone catastrophic. It, I, it seems to have gone sideways. Because... Dang. After all that setup, Kaiki played it cool for more than a freaking month on this one, man. He was going out. He wanted he had to be here 100 days was the plan. But apparently Nautico didn't fall for it. And for all we know, she was never falling for it the entire time that she may have somehow outsmarted even Kaiki in terms of her manipulative game. That would be crazy. I'm not going to put it past her at all. I think that might be it. I think that Nautico was onto him the entire freaking time. <laughs> and this whole thing has just been one big charade. I mean, she was able to fool everybody into thinking that she was a shy, innocent, cute girl. Maybe she was able to fool Kaiki into thinking that she was just an ignorant, immature airhead. Them's would be some big brain maneuvers. Besides that, though, we did get some interesting lore drops about Kaiki that apparently, if what Ononoki said is true, and <laughs> what uh, Kaiki said was also true, he went out of his way to take out the cult that had uh, deceived Senji Gohara's mom. He destroyed them, tore them to pieces, but then it backfired because she just ended up in a different cult, a worse one, up on the totem pole and he didn't do anything about them. It brings up the potential that Kaiki has gone out of his way to do things for other people rather than for himself, but every time he tries it, it just goes horribly wrong. And of course, if what she says is true, then yeah, it ties into what happened at the end there, that every time he tries to do something for somebody else, it just backfires and explodes right in his face. I mean, you just know Kaiki's gonna play it cool and try to salvage this, but I don't think he has a chance anymore. Now that she's called the bluff, I don't think anything he says is gonna fix it because he doesn't have any supporting evidence that what he says is true. All he has was his word. And also he just preceded that by saying that words 
can't be trusted. I dare say this episode was certainly interesting. It added some potential nuance to Kaiki's character if you take them for their word, which at this point, I'm going to. It's probably a bit more complicated than what they were expressing, and maybe he's not just the whole, oh, I was actually a really nice guy kind of thing, but still, I think there's definitely some truth to it. And that he did just straight up go out of his way to help Senji Gahara because he felt bad. Because, well, I mean, come on. I guess even he is not that soulless. He saw her as fragile. She was a fragile kid. And he didn't want to be responsible for her crumbling into dust. But he does respect her now for having not done so. That despite the fact that he thought she looked fragile, she's managed to survive and maintain after two years of continuing strife. Perhaps he is that way because he has no choice but to be. Every time he tries to do something nice, it just goes horribly wrong. So instead, he just goes out of his way to rip people off. Although so far, most of the things I can think of that he's, you know, tried to do good for people are mostly undoing bad things that he's caused, so... I'm not sure if that even, even really counts. I mean, that does still lend the idea that he feels guilty for his actions, that's why he keeps trying to undo bad things that he's done, but... Mm hmm. Still, interesting. He had the full picture from Anakawa and everything, and it still wasn't enough. So all in all, pretty dang good episode, but that's all I gotta say for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Subscribe to be updated on more. That'd be fantastic. Stay tuned for next time, the final episode of Hitagi End before we move on to the long-awaited Hana Monogatari. And then we'll be done with Season 2. And then it's uh, back to more of the, you know, segmented parts of this. But whatever, for now, I'm definitely excited to check out the next episode. Hope you guys are as well. But till then, I will see you guys all later.